What's up, party people? My name is Andrew Swihart. I'm a professional digital artist. I've been doing it for about 15 years now. I've worked in film and video games and uh, uh, worked on uh, quite a few different things. What I'm demonstrating to you is a time lapse that I did uh, just yesterday of a storyboard that I'm creating for a uh, alien horror film. A lot of times, like, directors come to me and producers and whatnot. And uh, they, don't, they don't just want a normal storyboard. They want uh, something that has a lot of color and sensibility to it and atmosphere and whatnot. So I have to very quickly come up with between 20 and 40 images that help tell uh, the story and the treatment so that they can shop it around to the different studios and see if anyone's even interested in making uh, this concept before they spend a bunch of money um, writing the script, uh, believe it or not. So... Um, yeah, anyway, um, what you're seeing here is me just quickly scanning through lots and lots and lots of Google images and grabbing uh, various elements that I'm uh, cobbling together to create um, whatever this particular image needs to be. Now, this particular image is one of the men in black uh, looking at a computer, which is basically um, displaying surveillance uh, from all different surveillance cameras. So I'm creating the surveillance camera, camera sort of uh, screen and the uh, uh, pedestal uh, very quickly. I'm using a lot of uh, warping and bending and uh, perspective shifts and uh, I'm sort of cobbling it all together. I'm, I'm leaving in a lot of the mistakes so you guys can see how I don't always... The first thing that I drop down onto the canvas isn't necessarily the best thing sometimes. Uh, you know, it's it, it works for a moment, but you know you want to go through and come up with a better element that um, looks cleaner or has, you know, more richness to it, more character. Like, I like this guy's face, and he has the right exp expression. He's kind of looking back to make sure no one's watching him, where the other guy just had this big, goofy grin. Um, and then I'm putting in some alien eyes, because this man in black... Is actually an alien, uh, but he also needs to look semi-human. Uh, I'm adding a little atmosphere here with the white, kind of the, the, the light trickling in from the outside, giving the room sort of a presence. And then I'm adding some shadow to him. Uh, these eyes, I don't remember if I ended up finishing with these eyes. I think I kept adding to the face till it was adequate. Um, I typically have to pump these things out pretty fast. I usually do anywhere between, mm, it's a stretch, but anywhere between 4 and 10 a day, and uh, they don't have to be perfect, but what I'm demonstrating here is just my workflow, how I typically do things. I'm adding some uh, light bl uh, wrap onto his face, so the light from the screen and the light from the windows, you can see kind of falling onto his face. I also added some shadow on his back. Um, here you see me sort of struggling finding the right alien eyes. Sometimes I'll have concept art. Most of the time I don't. A lot of times I just have to make it all up on the fly. Uh, I don't necessarily have a 100% vision of what I'm going to do. Sometimes I'll draw something out, especially like if I have a meeting with a producer. We'll sit down and we'll draw some of these concepts out. But... Um, this one right here, I just kind of had a vision in my head. And I make sure that it follows certain camera principles, like the rule of thirds, um, positive, negative space, as I create it. Um, I, I, do, I am very good at drawing. It's just that what they're looking for typically and why they come to me is they want something that's more than just a drawing. They want um, something that could almost be a photograph if given a little more love. So what you see here is me creating something that could take the place of, of what will ultimately be a photograph with some CG and compositing and color correcting on top of it. Maybe even a green screen background. Um, so here I'm experimenting with making the guy's face look a little more um, unique. Uh, like he's a human with his, maybe he's got a, a human skin and he's like an alien underneath. He's trying to camouflage who he is or uh, what's hilarious to me is a lot of times uh, these jobs that I get, this, 
there's really they're not sure exactly <laughs> what the story is so like this guy for example there's actually several different possible story arcs so I don't know if he's going to be a human or an alien. Uh, they weren't sure when we had our meeting, so I, I don't even know. Here I'm adding lens flares um, at different depths uh, throughout my layers to create mood and atmosphere, kind of like the light coming in and playing tricks on the lens, because ultimately this will be filmed with a camera. Um, here I'm adding some eyes. Sometimes what will happen is, is an image like this, even though the alien isn't what the art director ultimately wants, uh, will help convey the story well enough to where this will end up hanging on the you know director's wall or you know the art department's wall for the remainder of the film or the production of the film but they're still massaging how the alien face will look and ultimately it won't look what I came up with the art director will step in and he has a particular vision and him and the director go out to lunch and have coffee and you know chew the fat for a while until they come up with something that they really want. And, and occasionally, and, and when I'm doing this particular type of work, this uh, storyboarding work, they'll come back to me, but most of the time they won't. They'll just put it straight into the previs, um, which is after what I do. And by that time, the story's starting to solidify anyway. Um, this is mainly pitch work. So here I'm adding some vignetting. I've added a lot of lighting. Um, and uh, what is the next thing that I added? Oh, yeah, I wasn't quite happy with the face. I wanted something that had a little more kind of uh, uh, resolution to it. And I ended up finding that face, and I didn't like it. I wanted something that had, like, texture, like skin and tendons and something with a little more, uh, like, the skin of an animal. And I ended up going with that. And then I just dropped it on. Sometimes I'll transparency a little bit while I scale things. And they go in with a dodge or um, color and contrast layer. And then help sort of like bring up the lights and darken the darks. So you can see here, like as a reveal, if you were to see this guy as we pull away from the monitor, um, you would be startled to realize that he's not human after all. He's an alien. Um, vignetting and lens flares are two very important things along with uh, any kind of lens effects, uh, glows, things of that nature that you'll just find more. I, I, I like to use it. You'll find a lot of my artwork personally. I know there's a lot of concept artists that don't do that type of work um, or they don't like that aesthetic. Me, I personally do and the people that do like that come to me. So it's just a taste thing. It's just whatever you want. And uh, finally here, I'm adding in a, um, I had to save that file, uh, I'm adding in a reflection onto the monitor, and by just adding some shadow, taking the background, laying it on top, warping it a little bit, isolating it, inverting the selection, deleting the old stuff, and then changing it to be the right type of layer opacity I want. And there you go, it's all done. Anyway, andyswy.com is my website, hope you enjoyed this video, bye-bye.